Hi veterinary peeps, Amy Newfield here. I wanna to talk to you about an issue that we have in our profession. And it was brought up at one of my very first meetings that I had at my brand new job. So I was meeting with my brand new team and someone brought up how they were going through Facebook pages, Facebook groups, and they were looking at posts and they were very concerned because there was a lot of posts in which wannabe veterinarians, wannabe veterinary technicians and assistants posted I'm interested in getting into this profession. Can you tell me a little bit more about it? What do you like, what you don't like? And there's a lot of those posts out there. If you're part of any Facebook group, uh, a veterinary technician or veterinarian, you're gonna see these posts of people saying, what do you think about the veterinary profession? And what this individual remarked was that largely most of the comments were really negative. People saying, don't get into this profession, it's gonna suck you drive, it's not sustainable, you're gonna need to work three jobs, you're gonna be broke, you're gonna hate it, the clients don't like you, you're gonna be yelled at all the time, the teams are toxic, um, there's a high rate of suicide, it is not a great profession, don't get in it, go somewhere else. As soon as this individual shared with me this information, which I have known and seen over and over, uh, as I'm obviously part of social media, I my blood boiled. It did. There was something like just visceral within me that just kind of went, oh, what are we doing? So let me just address this. We have worldwide issues in the veterinary profession. They are not unique to just veterinary technicians. They're not unique to just veterinarians. They're not unique to just veterinary receptionists. It is a industry-wide and worldwide problem. I acknowledge all of the burnout, the compassion fatigue, the low rates of pay, the bad benefits, the clients that are so demanding, the rate of burnout right now, I have never seen in my profession before, and I've been in this industry for 23 years the patient nurse ratio counts that are not sustainable. And I have talked about this in previous blogs and podcasts. Check out my, you know, how to keep this profession sustained. Uh, I just wrote about it on why employees quit in one of my blogs. So definitely check that out. But here's the thing. The veterinary profession is still a great profession. I know, nobody says that. And when I read these blog posts or these group posts about you know, how terrible it is, it makes it seem like it's just horrible. But here's the thing why we all went into this profession. There are two things that never change that are always wonderful. The pets and the medicine. I have always known that I was gonna work with animals. I'm the cliche person, you can ask my parents, you know? I was a little kid and I was trying to save everything um, and I was picking up animals and uh, just wanted to go ahead and save the world. And I didn't know what I was gonna do. I didn't even know that veterinary technology was a career path for me. So at the time, I, my brain went to, I'm gonna work with marine animals. I am gonna work in a zoo. I'm gonna work in a field somewhere. I'm going to go count lions in Africa. I, I honestly had no idea, but I knew I was gonna work with animals. And I've always connected with animals in a way that I struggle sometimes to connect with people. And I think a lot of you can relate to that too. The animal part of veterinary medicine, it's always there and it's pretty freaking awesome. And the other part of veterinary medicine is the medicine itself. It's amazing. It is constantly evolving. I mean, we can now do, you know, dialysis in cats and we can do heart valve replacements in dogs. It's crazy what we can do in, in medicine. And it's still the sky's the limit. We are improving animal lives and getting them back to their owners so that we increase and keep that pet owner bond for life for as long as possible. And what we do is pretty amazing. But nobody talks about that in these Facebook groups. Nobody talks about those parts. And unfortunately, it has gotten a bad reputation as a career because there's so much negativity. So here's my ask, and here's also the reality. There are employers out there who are trying to create this being sustainable, including benefits. And I'm gonna name drop right now. My group, Veterinary Emergency Group, go check out their posts. They just blew the salary off the roof for veterinary technicians. I mean, 
I am so proud right now, I can't stop smiling that I work for them. Uh, so definitely check that out. But there's other hospitals, there's other companies that are trying to change things. They're trying to do things right and they're trying to make it a sustainable and happy career. And so I encourage you all that if you love pets and you love medicine, go into veterinary medicine, but don't take toxicity it, it, you know, lightly, don't take bad benefits and salary sitting down. Find a hospital that supports you so that you can have a career that you can actually live on and be happy in. It is a possibility for so many of us that have been in this industry for so long. The reason why we've survived and thrived after 10, 15, 20 years it's because we kept saying, no, I'm not going to take this nasty hospital. I'm going to go find one that I'm happy at. No, I'm not going to deal with the negativity. I'm going to go find something that's more positive. Um, no, I don't like that salary. I'm going to go find somebody who appreciates me more. Uh, it does require some effort, but for everybody who's posting such negative comments online and then complaining that you're short staffed. Yeah. It might be one of the reasons why people don't want to enter our field. So let's look a little bit more at the positivity. Let's all strive together as a profession to push this profession forward so that it can be sustained. And I thank you guys so much for everything that you do. Uh, I hope that you all find the unicorn practice because I think that's really important. And I'm going to keep doing the best I can do for the entire profession on my end. And I hope the same goes for you as well. Thank you so much for listening and have a wonderful day.